Start to breathe deeply. Starting with a short meditation to enter our practice, to enter your body, to enter your breath. Make sure that you feel that your spine is aligned and lengthened. Your shoulders are back and open. Connecting your mind to your body and your body to your breath. See how you're feeling today. <sighs> Try to go into a deeper breath practice, maybe counting your breath four seconds in, four seconds out. you need to decrease or increase that number, feel free to do so as you please. If you practice breath retention, try to hold for another four seconds in between your breath. So it'll be four seconds on your inhale, four seconds retention, holding the breath, four seconds exhale, and four seconds holding the breath again after your exhale. See if that works for you. If not, you can do a three, 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 two, 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 or you can just do the four seconds in and four seconds out. We practice our breath with our breath, pranayama. We tap into the vital life force energy within ourselves and within the universe. start to open your eyes. We'll enter a little warm up for our joints before we enter our practice. We're going to inhale the hands up. Exhale coming to the right side into a side bend. Feeling a nice stretch here all the way from your fingertips to your hips. Make sure your hips aren't lifting so you don't lose half of that stretch. Look up towards your hand. Always breathing deeply through the nose. Inhale back to center. Exhale, opposite side. Again, you want to feel this nice lengthening stretch all inside of your body. Even the fingertips, don't let the fingertips collapse to the ground. We want to feel extension and length. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left hand to right knee coming into a seated twist. Right hand comes behind the back, wanting to grab that left thigh maybe, or just staying behind the back and looking behind you over your right shoulder. Make sure you still have length in your spine. Opening the heart even more, maybe it'll help you enter your twist a little bit deeper, grabbing your inner thigh a little bit more. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, opposite side. Right hand to left knee. 
Left hand to inner right thigh. Looking behind you as much as you can. Open heart, long spines. Inhale back to center, hands up. Extending in the spine, feeling space between every vertebrae. Exhale, the hands down, coming onto our knees for our amazing toe stretch that we love so much. Knees together, sitting on the heels. Every day we do this, it should feel easier and easier, being able to hold it for longer periods of time. Maybe close your eyes. Try to channel what you're feeling inside. See if you can quiet the inner voice. That might be saying, I need to get out of this posture, something like that. Your breath will always help you heal, allow you to get deeper into the posture, finding a comfortable place within an uncomfortable place. And we'll slowly come out of the toe stretch. Coming into the opposite side, stretching on the front of the ankle, knees together, heels together, sitting down in Madrasana. You can stay here or come into the back of your fingers, maybe lifting the knees, maybe removing the fingers and bringing them to heart center in Anjali Mudra, the Namaste posture. Whatever variation works for you, listen to your body. And coming forward into a tabletop position. Gonna warm up the wrist joints, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Gonna do a couple circles on the wrist joint. Try to do as big a circle as you can, really putting the weight of your body onto your hands. Spread your fingertips, squeeze the mat, get a nice grip. Make sure you're attaching your breath to your movement. And to the opposite direction. We're gonna flip the hands now so the back of the palm is on the ground. If this hurts a lot, you can come closer to your knees so there's less weight on your wrists. If it's okay in your tabletop position, then you can do that there. Make sure you're not collapsing into the shoulders, you're still lengthening. You still have a nice tabletop neutral spine. Pressing into all the fingertips. slowly get out of the posture without collapsing. Shake out the hands and we'll stand on our feet. Doing a bit of head circles to warm up the shoulders and the neck. Again, connecting your breath with your movement. And to the opposite direction. And release it all, shake it out. Let that stale energy from sitting home all day get awoken, get moving, feeling fluid, feeling free. I love seeing everybody shake. <laughs> And now we're gonna enter our Ashtanga practice, starting with sun salutations. We'll start with the sun salutations. A, coming to the top of your mat, big toe to big toe. Inhale the hands up, coming into our upward hand posture. Really feel this posture from your toes to your fingertips. The whole body is activated here. We're not just standing with our hands up in there. Inhale, look at your fingertips. Exhale, we're going to come all the way down into a forward fold. 
In our forward fold, we want our weight to be over our toes and not in our heels. We want to feel like we're in a forward fold, really leaning forward. If you need to bend your knees here, you can always adjust as needed. Inhale, we're going to halfway lift. Look forward, straight spine. If you need to come up onto your thighs, it's another variation. Drop the hands to the ground, hold your breath, coming back into a plank. Choosing your variation of chaturanga, you can either do your knees on the ground or legs up. Lean forward like you're looking over a cliff. Exhale as you go down into your chaturanga. Elbows stay close to the body. Inhale into your up dog. Legs are off the ground, heart comes in between the arms. Look up towards the sky, inhale. Onto your toes, exhale, downward dog. First downward dog of the day, adjust yourself as needed. Legs, hips distance, hands, shoulder distance. Hips to the sky and backwards. You want to move the weight to your heels, not to your hands. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Look forward in between your hands. Walk, step, or jump. Feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine, look forward. Exhale, head to knees, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Urdhva Hastasana, upward hand pose. Exhale, Samastiti, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Inhale up. Exhale down, forward fold, head to knees, weight in the toes. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Drop the hands, hold your breath, coming down to plank, chaturanga, whatever variation. Exhale as you go down. Inhale as you come up to up dog. Exhale as you go back to down dog. Five deep breaths, adjust yourself as needed. One. Two, three, make sure you're breathing deeply through the nose, four, five, look forward, walk, step, or jump, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, head to knees, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, upward hand pose, exhale, Samastiti. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Looking forward, straight spine. Drop the hands, hold your breath. Walk, step, or jump. Plank. Exhale as you go down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five deep breaths. <sighs> one. Two, three, four, five. Walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, Samastiti. Nice. Now we'll enter Sun Salutations B. Bringing the toes together again. Inhale, we're going to come into chair pose, Utkatasana. Hands come forward, rise up as the hips lower. Look at your fingertips. Exhale to the ground, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Drop the hands, hold your breath. Back into plank, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, here's where things change. We're gonna lift the right leg up and bring it in between your hands. Now before we rise up, make sure you drop the back heel, your knees above your ankle, and you have a strong base. Your legs should not move as you rise. Inhale slowly and rise the arms up with you, coming into warrior one. Now in our warrior one, we want to make sure that our knee is still above our ankle. And we want to turn our hips forward. So 
So if that's not happening for you, you can come up onto your toes and really twist the hips facing forward. We really want to feel the stretch here in our hip flexor of our left leg, not in our lower backs. So adjust your pelvis, twisting the pelvis a little bit forward, making sure the knee is still above the ankle. And inhale again, hands up. This is your warrior one. Dropping your hands down to the ground. Back, bring your back legs back to plank. Try to round to exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side. Lifting the left leg up to the sky. And in between the hands. Before you rise up, make sure your base is strong and balanced. Inhale, the hands up. The legs should not move. Beautiful. Again, adjust your hips facing forward. No compression in the lower back. Knee is still above the ankle. Look up, inhale. Exhale to the ground, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Adjust yourself as needed. Again, legs, hips distance, arms, shoulder distance. Moving the weight forward to your heels. Long straight spine. If you feel like your spine is not long, maybe has a bit of a curve, so bend your knees a bit. Press more into your hands. Get that nice long spine. Three. Four. Five. Look forward, walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, long straight spine. Exhale, head, head to knees, forward fold. Inhale, into your chair pose, bend your knees as you rise up with your hands. Exhale, Samastiti. Again, inhale, knees come down, arms come up, look at your fingertips. Exhale to the ground, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine. Hands to the ground, walk, step, or jump. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right side, warrior one. We're lifting the leg up to the sky. In between our hands. Making sure our base is strong and balanced. Inhale, the hands up. Back to the ground. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, left side, Whoop, to the sky, in between the hands, drop the back heel, strong base, inhale, hands up, exhale to the ground, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, five deep breaths, one, two, Three, four, make sure you're externally rotating your shoulders. And five, look forward, walk, step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, head to knees. Inhale, bend the knees, coming into chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastitihi. Last round, feel the heat. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Drop the hands, hold your breath, coming into Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right leg up through the sky. In between your hands. Strong base. Inhale up. Warrior one. Make sure your knees above your ankle. Don't lose it. Back to the ground. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg to the sky. In between your hands. Strong base. Inhale up. Exhale to the ground. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last five breaths in your down dog. One. Two, three, 
four, five. Look forward, walk, step, or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, bend the knees, chair pose, come up. Exhale. Samastiti, he is so proud. Open your body, legs and hands for a moment. Close your eyes. See if you can slow down your breath. Slow down your heartbeat. Controlling your nervous system with your breath. Feel the energy passing through your whole body. One last deep breath. <sighs> Beautiful. We're going to close the feet about five centimeters inner hips distance. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, hands to hips. We're going to lead with our chest first coming down. Head last. As far as you can before you drop the head. And then you're going to grab your peace sign fingers and grab your big toe. Now if you're not at your feet, you can take the book or block and put your hands on the block. If you're at your feet, you're grabbing your big toe from the inside. Inhale, halfway lift like in sun salutations, long straight spine. Exhale, open the elbows out, pulling your head to your knees. Weight in the toes, not the heels. Five deep breaths. One. Two, use your breath as a tool. Every inhale, you find length. Every exhale, you go a centimeter deeper into your posture. Three. Four, five. Inhale, look forward. Remove your hands from your big toe, long straight spine. Exhale, bring your hands under your feet. Your toes should touch your ankles, uh, your wrists. If you need to bend your knees to get there, you can do that. Inhale, look forward, straight spine. Exhale, elbows out, head to knees. This is a nice posture to give yourself a little hand massage. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, look forward, straight spine. Exhale, jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right leg up towards the sky. And in between your hands, windmilling the hands up into your trikonasana posture. Now the right leg will be forward. The left leg will be out in a perpendicular line. The heel should meet the inside of your back leg. The legs are straight in trikonasana. Inhale the hands, shoulder height. Exhale, bring the left hip back all the way before you drop your hands, as much as you can. Beautiful. As far as you go, you're gonna drop the hands now, windmilling them down to the ground. You can either grab your big toe or place the back of your hand on your shin and press against that, or with the block in front of your foot, or a book. Whatever variation you chose, we'll enter the pose now. Make sure you're bringing your shoulder back and your hips forward. You want to feel like you're leaning up against the wall. And your hands should be in a line. Not too far back. Perfect line. Look up towards your left hand. Five breaths. One. Two. Three, four, five. Inhale, lift the hands up, switch the feet. Left hand turning out, left foot, right foot turning forward, perpendicular. Inhale, the hands up. 
exhale, right hip goes all the way back. All the way, before you drop the hands. And slowly turning the hands down, either grabbing the big foot on your book or on your leg, the big toe. Right hand up towards the sky in a line. Again, shoulders back, hips forward. Look up towards your right hand. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale up. Turning back the feet to the opposite side, coming into a twisted triangle now. Turning the whole upper body towards the right foot. If it's hard to balance in, we're going to keep the left hand on the inside. If you want to challenge yourself, bring the left hand to the outside of your right foot. Okay? So inhale, lengthen in the spine. Exhale, bringing the left hand either to the inner foot or the outer foot. Again, use a book or a block if it's easier for you instead of getting down to the floor. Right hand up towards the sky. Look towards your right hand. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale up. Switch to the back. Left side, turning the whole body. Inhale, lengthening in the spine. Exhale, right hand goes either to the inner foot or the outer foot. Look up towards your left hand. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come up. Turning the feet again, we're going to come into a side angle now. Bringing the left leg a little bit further back. Dropping the knee over the ankle. Now, if your knee is going further than your ankle, then bring your left leg closer. If it's behind, then go a little bit um, further. Inhale, the hands out. Lengthening the body. Exhale, bring the right hand down to the ground. To the outside of your foot. You can rest your chest on your thigh here. Inhale. Left hand up towards the sky. It can either be straight up or beyond your head. Active. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale up. Other side, turning the legs. Bending the left knee, making sure it's above the ankle. Inhale, hands out, lengthening in the spine. Exhale, left hand to the outer left foot. Chest can rest on the thigh. Right hand up towards the sky or overhead. Make sure you're not turning the chest towards the ground. You want to open that chest up towards the sky. One. Two. Three, four, five. Inhale up. Turn the legs again. You guessed it. Twisted side angle. Turn the whole body towards that right leg. Inhale, lengthening in the spine. Exhale, left hand to outer right foot. Right end up towards the sky. One. Two. Three, four, five. Inhale up. Turning to the left leg. Twisted side angle. Inhale, lengthen in the spine. Exhale, right hand to outer left foot. Left hand towards the sky. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Inhale up. Beautiful. We're going to turn both the feet to the right side now. Both legs in the direction of your right leg. 
Coming into the pyramid pose. You can either grab elbows or come into a backwards namaste. If you choose backwards namaste, try to keep your hands together the whole time. Inhale, lengthening in the spine. Exhale, like we're doing forward fold, forward fold, coming forward with the chest first, head last. All the way, chest to thigh, head to knee or shin. Pressing into your feet, keeping your balance. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, switch legs to the left side. Now both feet are facing the left side. If you're holding elbows, then switch the hold to hold the opposite elbows. If you're in backwards, namaste. You can stay there and adjust to press into your palms a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen in the spine. Exhale, coming forward, leading with the chest. And then the head. Pressing in the feet. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Dropping the hands to the ground. Coming back into your chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Walk or step forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, rest. So proud of you. We'll do one bouncing posture. Extended hand to big toe. Balancing the left foot, we're gonna bring the right knee towards us. You can either hold your knee or grab your big toe with your right hand and left hand to your hip. Whatever variation you're in, your knee should be facing up and not outwards. If you're holding your big toe and you want more of a challenge, try to extend with a straight leg or keep it bent. Five breaths, whatever variation you chose, keep that variation. Focus on one point, your Jewish key. One pointed focus. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. We're gonna open the knee out to the right. You can either hold your shin or your big toe still or straight leg, whatever variation you're in. Five breaths. One. Two, keep your weight of the body in the middle. Don't try to find the easy balance coming out to the side. Three. Four. Five. Bringing the leg back in. We're gonna point the foot forward. Bringing the right hand on your hip. Five breaths. Raise the foot as high as you can. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Raise up a little bit higher. Exhale, come down. Other side. Grounding in the right foot. Really press that foot into the ground, preparing us to balance on that side. And rise up the left leg, either holding the knee or the big toe. Either way, the knee is facing up, not coming down. So if you need to just hold the knee right here, do whatever you need to do. Long straight spine, open shoulders, holding in that core, focusing on your drishti. One. Two. Three, four, five. Opening the left leg to the left. Again, keeping the weight of your body in the center. Five breaths in whatever variation you are in. One, two. For an extra challenge, you can look to the right. Three, four, five. Bring the left leg forward slowly, pointing the foot now. Five breaths, don't drop the leg. One, 
Two, don't lean backwards to find that easy balance. Keep the weight in the center. Three. Four. Five, raise the leg a little bit higher. Exhale, bring it down, beautiful. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale to the ground. Jump back, Chaturanga. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, dog. Exhale, down, dog. And jump or walk to sit on your mat. Great. Bring the legs up forward. Straight in front of you. Flex feet towards your body. Hands come by the hips, coming into Dandasana. Now this pose looks very simple, but it's not. You really want to find this 90 degree angle in your body. The legs are completely active with this strong flex. Your hands are by your hips, either flat on the ground or on your fingertips. Helping you to find length in your spine. Open your shoulders back. The only thing relaxed here is your neck and your head. Everything else is active. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale the hands up. Long spines. Exhale, come forward. Pachimottanasana, forward fold. You can either grab your feet, your toes, your shins, your thighs. You can work on a straight spine here or folding in whatever variation feels best to you. Five breaths. Flex feet. One. You're pulling your feet in the direction of your elbows down to the ground by your legs. Two. Three. Four, five, six, oh, sorry, kept going, but it feels so good. <laughs> Inhale the hands up. Exhale, bring the hands, one hand behind your hips. We're going to come into reverse plank. The direction is toes to the ground, hips to the sky, drop the head back. One, two, Three, four, five. Drop the hips slowly. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, drop the hands down. We're going to bring the right foot as close as we can to our hips. Coming into a half lotus. You really want the foot to be as close as possible to your hip to protect that ankle. And flex your foot to protect the knee. If you want an extra challenge, you can bring the right hand around your back, grabbing the big toe, if that's comfortable. If not, you can stay forward. Inhale, the left hand up, or both hands. Exhale, come forward, head to knee, half down the One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, switch legs. Left leg comes all the way by the hip. Flex the left foot to protect the knee. Coming into a bound if that's comfortable or not. Inhale, right hand up or up. Exhale, head to knee. One. Two, three, four, five. Inhale the hands up. Exhale the hands down. And cross the knees, the feet. Jumping through vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Jump, walk, or step into your seat. And we'll come into Navasana, boat posture. Let's hug our thighs for a second to feel how it feels to sit on our sit bones and not on our lower back. 
really extending in that spine. And when you try to straighten your legs a little, you'll feel that you'll start to roll back onto your lower back. And we want to avoid that. So when we get in our boat posture, really listen to your body and only raise your legs to where you can, where you're not lowering back onto your lower back. Drop the hands from your thighs. Lift the legs to wherever you feel comfortable that you're staying on your sit bones. Hands come forward. Five breaths. One. Lengthen in the spine. Open your heart forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Cross your legs and try to lift your whole body for one second or maybe just your hips or just your feet. Whatever you can lift. One second and come back down. Again, we'll come into our boat posture. Making sure you're on your sit bones. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Crossing over the opposite legs of what you did last time. Lifting the whole body for one more second again. And back down. Last time, boat posture. You can make your best, maybe lifting your legs a centimeter higher without rolling onto your lower back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Crossing the legs again. Lifting the whole body. Nice. And we'll jump back into our vinyasa, chaturanga, exhale, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, walk, jump or step to your seated pose. And we'll come onto our backs. Beautiful. Coming onto your back. We'll come into a bridge posture. Legs should be hips width, facing forward, parallel to each other. Neck should be relaxed. Hands by your hips. Inhale. Rise the hips up as high as you can. You can maybe grab your hands underneath, pressing the ground, scooping your shoulders more under, lifting your hips higher. Try to press into your feet here and activate the front of your body instead of clenching in your glutes. Don't clench in your glutes. We're trying to protect the lower back here. So pressing into the feet. Five breaths. One. Two. Make sure your knees stay closed and don't widen open. Three. Four. Five. Slowly lowering down. Beautiful. We'll come into a shoulder stand now. Bringing the leg to 90 degrees. Bringing the feet closer to the head until you can bring your, feet, your hands to your lower back. Now here you want to make sure your neck stays neutral in the center, protecting the neck since there's a lot of weight on it right now. So just listen to me without looking. Maybe you can walk your hands to your ribs, helping you find that straighter line. Feet to the sky, not over your head. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. We're going to drop the feet down behind you, coming into a plow pose. Slowly. And you should be on the top of your feet, like in Cobra. Pressing onto the top of your feet, maybe you can drop your hands to the ground. Five toes, the last one of five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Dropping the knees down to the ground, coming into Karna Pidasana, ear pressure pose. If you don't hear me, it's okay. Bring your knees to your ears and squeeze on them as if you can't hear me. That's okay. If you want, you can hug your thighs. 
And really try to get your knees to the ground by your head. One, two, three, four, five. We'll slowly straighten the legs. Bring the hands back to the lower back. Back up into your shoulder stand. And slowly coming down vertebrae by vertebrae as slow as you can. Activating your core muscles. All the way down to the ground as slow as you can. Beautiful. Once we get back down to the ground, we're going to do the counter pose, which is fish pose, Matsyasana. Bring your hands under your glutes, coming up onto your elbows, and bring the crown of your head to the floor. If this is comfortable, or somewhat comfortable, you can remove your hands from your glutes and place them on your thighs. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly release the head. Coming up to your seat. Last vinyasa of the practice, crossing your legs, jumping back into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Jump, walk, or step into your seat. <sighs> Beautiful. Last pose of the practice, Padmasana Lotus. Now you can come into a half lotus or a full. Whatever you do, make sure you're bringing your foot as close as possible to your hip. And gently placing it down. You want to flex in your feet to protect your knees. And you want the energy pushing through your knees, coming to the ground without physically pressing on them. Bring your hands into chin mudra, thumb and index touching, the higher consciousness mudra, connecting with your higher power. Putting them on your knees, straight erect arms. Shoulders back, open heart forward, close your eyes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Open your eyes slowly. Switch legs if you're doing a half or a full. Again, bringing the leg as close as possible to your hip. Flexing both feet to protect the knees. Energy of the knees are towards the ground without physically pushing. Chin mudra on the knees. Shoulders back, heart open, long straight spine. One, two, three, four, Five. Slowly open the eyes. Coming into Utpluti. Pick whatever side of lotus pose was more comfortable for you and bring your hands by your hips. In Utpluti, we're going to lift our whole body. If it's uncomfortable or difficult, you can just press onto the hands, feeling the energy in your shoulders without actually lifting. Or you can play, maybe lifting the knees, maybe lifting the hips, maybe up and down, up and down. Whatever feels comfortable for 10 breaths. Okay. Hands by the hips. Let's go. Lift up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. You can do it. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And slowly release. Open the legs. Coming into your Shavasana. 
Open the legs maybe wider than your mat. Hands by your side, palms facing up. Shoulders are away from the ears and relaxed on the ground. Maybe tucking your chin in a little bit closer to your chest, feeling your neck a little bit more on the ground. And just breathe deeply for the next couple of minutes. Feeling the movement of your breath, traveling in your body, in and out. Feeling the expansion when you inhale and the compression when you exhale. Really feeling completely in your body. Giving your body the proper love and time for healing in Shavasana. I know it can be difficult sometimes to lay and do nothing and completely surrender. Or maybe it's easy because of Corona and we've been doing it every day anyways. <laughs> but either way, this pose is magical in helping us enter the present moment. Use a breath, our breath as a tool for healing. Connecting with our bodies. Relaxed, not using any muscles anywhere in the body, from your toes and your feet, all the way up to your head, making sure even all the little muscles on your face are relaxed as well, the place in between your eyebrows, your mouth, your ears, your cheeks, everything is just melting into the ground. more full complete breaths filling your whole body up like a balloon and emptying it out completely feeling your belly button hit your spine on your exhale a couple full deep breaths strengthening our immune system Providing new oxygen to all of our cells. And slowly turn your whole body to the right side. Bringing your right arm under your head as a pillow. Left arm on your heart. Feeling your heartbeat. The power of your heart. Working so hard, 24-7, bringing blood to your entire body. And keeping the eyes closed, just feeling. We're gonna use our hands to help us come into a comfortable seat. Doesn't matter which seat, doesn't matter which direction you're in, just Feel it, feel the energy flow all the way down back into your body as you sit up. And return to your normal breath. Feel the length in your spine, your shoulders open, your heart open. All the space in your lungs for deep, full breaths. Bring your hands together and start rubbing intensively, creating Reiki heat energy. And bring it to your body wherever you feel you need extra love, extra healing, extra energy, extra flow, lower back, shoulders, wherever you feel you need it, your heart. And rub your hands one more time, as fast as you can. 
and cover your eyes gently without any pressure circling the eyes to the right even the eyes need to exercise and circling to the left and slowly bring your hands in front of your face blinking and looking into your palms your own palms showing you the lines of your life past present and future Center, thank you, namaste. I know it was an intense, difficult practice, but I'm so proud of you. Thank you for joining me today. Love you, bye. <laughs>